<laughs> Sorry, I was laughing because the uh, the new iPhone 5S, uh, the fingerprint thumb security thingy, uh, I guess it ain't all that secure because someone has already hacked it. Imagine that. All right, well, let's get on to the good stuff. The top Android apps, the best Android apps in the world. Okay, well, the best te top 10 Android apps for me. Okay, for me, not necessarily the best in the world, although you probably use some of these. A couple of these were based on your suggestions, but let's get to it. I'll show you what I picked. Now, uh, these are not in any particular order except for number one. Okay, so let's go start with number 10 and work our way, our way up. All right, well, uh, number 10 is Double Twist Music Player. I used this in my previous uh, smartphone, the Motorola Photon. Terrific uh, little music uh, audio player. There is a free version and a paid version. Uh, pretty good, pretty solid. Didn't notice any bugs. I enjoy using this. Uh, the next one is a the one that my friend has been using. Uh, this also has a free uh, uh, version and a paid version. Power Amp Music Player. This is this one has been around a while. One of the best. So check out Power Amp. Keeping with the uh, multimedia theme, TuneIn Radio. Uh, this one I also used before. This is my radio station to the world. Uh, I use this to stream a radio station out of California, uh, Top 40 Jazz. All right, the next one is a. Uh, Clean Master. Uh, one of you guys suggested this. I tried it and I love it. Uh, the one thing about this, this is a uh, cache cleaner, deletes junk files, and frees up RAM. When the RAM gets low on my smartphone, it warns me and it basically su suggests that I free up some RAM. I go through a few little steps and it's terrific. So uh, thank you who suggested Clean Master. All right, the next one on my list, if you have Comcast Cable, check out the Xfinity Player app for your phone. I have this on my smartphone and on my tablet. I almost forgot about this, but one of my friends also has cable service. He has this on his iPhone, and I can watch a cable TV through the Wi-Fi only. I can watch it upstairs in my bedroom. Well, speaking of my bedroom, I had a really crappy Wi-Fi signal upstairs, so I used the Wi-Fi analyzer. This, I think, was also based on one of, on one of your suggestions. Thank you. Uh, this told me where the signal got weak. I kind of already knew it, so I went out and bought a new router, and I will have a review of that router. And uh, the new router helps tremendously. Uh, I get a few extra bars, just enough to watch uh, TV upstairs in my bedroom. All right, next one on my list, and I use this every day to check uh, your guys' comments on the uh, channel Yahoo Mail. Uh, now there are multitude of email you know clients out there apps for smartphone. I, pre I prefer to use this one it seems easy to use and it seems quite stable. Alright uh, as far as browsers go the next one on my list is the Opera mini web browser. I also like uh, you know Chrome and Firefox seems okay too. This one uh, I just like the interface a little bit better so check out the Opera mini web browser. Well, let's see, number two, uh, AirDroid. Uh, this for me has been a lifesaver. Uh, trying to sync my Galaxy S4 to Linux, at least in 12.04, just, just hasn't worked out. Try various things to get it working right. Couldn't do it, but, but then I thought, why go wired? Why not go wireless, period? This works for both um, Linux and Windows. This does not work in Firefox. I believe it only works through the Google Chrome uh, web browser, and it works pretty good. So check out uh, Air. Droid. All right, uh, time for a drum roll. Boom. The number one app that I use every day to catch up on the news and for the news podcasts, Flipboard, a news magazine app. Uh, this one, I believe, has been out for iPhone for quite a while. Just recently, maybe last year, it came out on Android. A very good, easy to use. Uh, you know, news feed or uh, app, whatever you want to call it. I like the interface. Uh, it's customizable, of course. I use it both on my tablet and on my smartphone. Another one you may want to take a look at is, is the, uh, what's it called, Google Currents, I believe it's called, which functions something like this. But this for me, guys, this is my number one smartphone app where I get really over 
I would say 80% of my news for the podcast, I also use CNN and um, USA Today. But this one, I just like the interface. Uh, I like flipping, as it were, through the news stories on both my smartphone and tablet. Works pretty good, and I absolutely love it. Well, there you go. My top 10 apps for your smartphone. You may have uh, other favorites. Uh, Let me know. If I missed any good ones, let me know. But there you have it, my top 10 favorite apps for your Android smartphone. Of course, some of these are available, I'm sure, for iPhone, but I am, a, I am an Android person. Well, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and listening. Speaking of iPhone, uh, yes, I would love to do Apple product reviews. Uh, I have not forgotten you Apple folks. Um, I have the time to do it now, so if you are interested in helping out the channel, Uh, Consider a donation if you can. If I get enough interest, I will be happy to go out and buy an Apple product of your choosing, and I will give you my um, personal honest review of the Apple product, both good or bad, both stable or horse stable, and you guys will finally know what I think of Apple products. I do have an Apple uh, iPhone 3G, but that wouldn't be fair. That phone is kind of outdated. I won't be doing anything with that. But anyway, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.